So now let us see how we can work with keyframe graph to refine our animation, which is here. So I already have an animation for this logo. So if I were to press the play button, you can see that the logo goes from left to right to left and then again to the right. But there's no acceleration and deceleration or whatsoever right now. So if we were to take a look at the graph right here, so in order to view the graph, you have to click on this triangle icon right here. You can see that this is the value. So as I move the timeline, you can see that the value changes. So this is minus 600 value right here. And this right here is plus 590 and then back to minus uh, 675. And then that's it. So as I move along, scrub along, you can see that this is the value. As the value increases, the line uh, is going up as well. That is how the motion actually works out. So what you can do is you can change this out. If I were to move the keyframe, you can see that the uh, line changes as well. So just like this now, the increase in the value is greater. That's why the animation gets a bit slower as I pull out the keyframe just like this, as you can see. So I can just pull the keyframe and it changes the graph out just like that. Let's just press play and this is how it seems. So now, if I were to add in, let's say, for example, an A's out, what happens that a Bezier is added in. So you can see that it gradually accelerates and then deaccelerates right here. So you can see that this is how it actually works out. I can pull this handle out right here and this is how it behaves. So you can see that it slowly accelerates out right there. Similarly, I'm going to add an A's right here. So it adds in both an A's in and an A's out, as you can see. And as I pull the handle, you can see that I can change how this actually behaves. So now there's like a bounce right here. So if I were to press play, you can see that it bounces out right over there, just like that. So now I can change this around right here to change out how it behaves just like this. So I can actually pull this out right here and I can see that it changes out. So it actually accelerates out right here. It bounces off, goes back, and just like that, since the graph right here is actually curvy at the end, it seems like it is bouncing off just like that over here at the end as well. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to turn this around into linear again, and now let's see what uh, A's in actually works like and A's out. So A's in actually allows us to control the graph from the left side right here, just like this and is out allows us to control the graph on the right side over here, just like that. And you can see that I can make it smooth right here. So if I were to add an A's right here, you can see that the, uh, that the motion is much more smoother. So if I were to press the play button right here, you can see that the motion is much more smoother right over there. I'm going to add in an A's in right here to actually slow it down and an A's out right here. So it does not abruptly start out right over here. If I were to pull this down, what happens is that it actually goes back a bit and then accelerates out. So let me just do that. Go over here. So it accelerates out back right here, just like this a bit, and then goes forward and then back again. And then just like that, you have the end. So if I were to press the play button right here, just like that, you can see that the animation is much more smoother, just like that. The more you pull on it, the more intense the animation becomes, just like that, as you can see. So if you, let's say, for example, you want to work around with this and then change around the graph right over here, you can see that it changes around right over here, just like that. So you have to practice this a bit to get used to it over here. So let's display this around. And this is how it seems, as you can see right there. Let me pull this out a bit, change that around and so forth. So you want to make the acceleration more subtle or more intense. You can see that this is how it actually works like. And that is how it can work around with keyframe graphs to refine animation inside of Adobe Character Animator. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.